welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars. And also, I'm going to be doing loads of votes on Instagram as to what I can react to. So please do head over there and join me on Instagram. Also, you can check out my website, BethRoars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. I do lessons both in London, UK and online. And last but not least, do check out my Patreon, which is Patreon.com slash Beth Roars where you can find more exclusive content and guarantee that your request definitely happens like this very request. This is a request from Kevin. Hey Kevin! The White Buffalo is also known as Jake Smith, that's his real name, and he is known for adding whistling into his songs. Is he gonna do it in this one? Let's see. This is a song, um, basically gets shot and comes back from the war and um, He's pretty disturbed when he comes oh, no. back, and uh, it's not adjusting really to civilian life, and uh, he still feels like a killing machine and kind of uh, uh, bloodthirsty, and so he, this song follows. What is this guy's background? Is he an army guy? Let me find out. I'm going to do a Wikipedia search. I can't find anything, so if you know anything about him, I'd love to know more about his background and why he's picking these topics. This song follows. <laughs> the whistling. Lovely whistle vibrato. <laughs> this time is different. It's not like the time before. Well, I cross my heart. That I won't kill no more I love that he is singing in his accent. It sounds really kind of earthy. I loved how he opened up the vowels on time instead of, instead of time, time, which is a bit more of an accent thing as well as just an easier place to sing those higher notes. And then closing some of it so as well and making it a little bit more kind of mumbly but more natural. Jesus, watch over me. I keep my anger at home. You better bless these wicked hands. To see that mind of their own. Don't. He's got a real interesting vibrato. He, it's really kind of fast and bleaty, and that's. Fine, I, I don't mind that. A lot of people are like, oh, you need to have a certain type of vibrato. But, um, and certain types of vibrato can point to different levels of support. So if you're supporting enough. But at this point, I think that's just his vibrato. And some people get really like worried about their vibrato. If it's a fast vibrato, if it's a slow one. But I think it's a real big, unique thing to individuals' voices. So just own your vibrato. That's what Beth Roars says. Also, I really like the placement. It's really forward and almost nasally. I don't want to point you towards going nasally, but he's not letting go. Da, da, da. So, na, 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 in this placement, which gives it a bit of punch, especially as he gets a little higher because he has got that nice warm baritone voice and that's that can often get a bit heavy sounding, but no, he's keeping it nice and forward placed so it can be punchy. The devil whispers in my ear It's time for your curtain call So I dress myself on earth With alcohol I love these scripts Step aside, step aside Oh, let the whistle through There really ain't no help at all. I 
the little distortions are lovely. On this bit, I think that he is just capitalizing on his normal, his natural rasp, rather than it doesn't sound so much like a technique rasp to me that he's like learned how to do. He sounds like he's already naturally has a little bit of that raspy sound in the way that he sings and he's just capitalizing on it on these higher notes and that does make it feel like um, really emotional, <laughs> really emotional. This time is different It's not like the time before Well I cross my heart That I won't kill no more Wow Horrible subject, but a beautiful song I love how he is using all the country nuances, the scoops, cross my heart, lovely vibrato, his really unique vibrato, and that raspiness in his voice, which I think is natural, although I would love to hear more. I'd love to know if it is or it's something that he's learned and added in. It, it just feels very, very natural, like you've smoked a million cigarettes a day and you're just like some, some dude going to a bar but also has a really nice voice. I, I like that sort of singing. It just, it, it doesn't feel put on in any way. It just feels like part of him. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.